guys, it's Brenda from my Libby Lunch Cradle. I am here with Caden Bling. And if you hear any noises in the background, Francis is home. We're having, or he's making us some homemade hamburgers. It's going to be so good. So my specialty is pizza. His is hamburgers. So Caden Blaine and I, he is the, isn't he so sweet? He is the Elise Sculpt. And the noise is, that's the ice machine, by the way, so... Caden is the Elise Sculpt by, ooh, Cassie Brace, I think. I totally forget. It's been a, lot, a long while. He is an older sculpt, and he is a bigger baby. His hair has been rooted, and he was reborn by Wendy of Weeby Dolls. She is a reborn artist here in Manitoba, Canada. And... He is custom made to look like myself, so, <laughs> and Eric named him my son Eric. His eyes look black though, but they're, they're not black. They're a very dark brown. And he is, he is wearing one of my real son's pajamas. He is really heavy. So I'm here today to talk about, um... Have you seen Julie's video recently, Julie from the Country Cottage? She did a video about um, inclusion and exclusion. And it kind of reminded me, what? <laughs> it reminded me of the topic about exclusion and inclusion. But she was talking within this community itself, the hobby itself. Um, it's distractions. Normally I make videos alone. So. But I want to talk about coming on how outsiders support the hobby who shock you. Because normally a lot of outsiders don't understand this hobby at all. And yeah, it, I've... I've met many outsiders who don't understand this hobby at all, but there are some people, outsiders, that totally shock you with what they do. So I'm going to put Caden down. One of the things that really shocked me was how my dad supports my hobby. And how he supports me is he subscribes to my channel and he even commented on a few videos. It's been a long time since he commented because mostly because I have another channel called Camper Shack and he's always on the, those videos. But I have showed him a picture before and I will insert that picture. And that was a picture of myself as a baby and one of my dolls. And I wanted to show him the resemblance. Um, and he couldn't believe it. He's like, wow, that's amazing. And I said, did you want to see the doll? Of course he said no. And I knew he would say no because he, he doesn't like the dolls at all. He doesn't. He doesn't like the hobby, but he can understand why I like the hobby, which is really amazing in itself so he is subscribed to me he does tell his other family members and friends to subscribe to me so that shows me a lot of support another thing that shocked me by an outsider was my brother and he a few years ago he made me this He took, he found this in my mom's basement in her storage room and she was going to throw a whole bunch of things out. And my brother found this in an envelope, the original envelope, which I also have. But he took this out of the envelope and he framed it for me and he gave, he gave it to me for Christmas. Now, as you can see, I did not write on this certificate because I didn't want to... Um, I didn't want to 
ruined the certificate because I was I was a girl and I did want to wreck it, but my that's my maiden name. And she was purchased in Quebec, actually. She's French. Um, most of the things that came to me was in French, but and her name is Folda Claudette. I don't like that name Folda at all, but I, I like Claudette, so I named her Claudette. So isn't that so nice of him? He framed this for me, the original official adoption papers. Is there a date on here? Oh, it just says September 20th. <laughs> but I got this for Christmas when I was young. Oh, that's my address up here where I grew up. <laughs> So that was pretty amazing. Um, another thing that shocked me by an outsider was one of my students, and I'll insert a couple of comments that he did on my channel. <laughs> so when he told me that he's gonna look for me and a comment on my channel I I just thought he was talking away but he actually did he really surprised me but recently what really really shocked me and touched me a lot was this gift I'm about to show you so um look at this beautiful beautiful quilt can you see that look Look. So my co-worker, Andrea, she came to me and she said, I have something for you. I want you to pick a blanket out. And I'm like, what? Oh, that's so kind. And of course, I gravitated to this one. So this is the front. And there is also a back, which is this. Which is perfect too, because there was a time when I was addicted to monkeys in this hobby. Like monkey things. I even have a reborn monkey. But um, I thought it was so sweet. And I love the print. Isn't that so pretty? So she told me that her mom makes these and her mom's name is Anne, so Anne, thank you so much for this beautiful quilt blanket. And you know what? She makes these for other moms, um, and she gifts them to new moms, and it's just so beautiful. So thank you so much, Anne and Andrea, for gifting me this beautiful blanket for my hobby. And Andrea knew that I'm um, in this hobby and she knew that I would appreciate it very much and I love it. It's so pretty. But I mean, for outsiders to show you their appreciation and their support, it just means a whole lot. Thank you so much for everything. So it is guys, I went to Brandon recently and I got a few things for the hobby and I can't wait to share it with you. But right now I should go. This quilt is actually very warm. It's a real quilt. Quilted blanket. It's really thick and soft. And it's a hot, hot day out there. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for spending time with me. And thank you, your work. I love it. Thank you for everything that like who you are and what you do for other people. And same to you, Andrea. See you at the school and everyone else and see my student oh you probably won't be watching this but thank you felix for your comments it means a lot so anyways guys hope that you're having a great day and until next time hopefully tomorrow we'll see you soon bye guys